Hello and welcome everyone to the next lecture of the IGCSE Biology 0610 series. In this lecture we will discuss topic 16.4 of the syllabus that is sexual reproduction in humans. It's our lecture 6 and in this lecture we will discuss entire male reproductive system. What are the parts that are included in this system? What are their functions? How the sperms are produced and what is the feature and what is the structure of the male gamete? So let's start our today's discussion. So before starting male reproductive system, let's understand what is the meaning of reproduction. Reproduction is the process, as we discussed earlier also, is it is a process of producing new individuals by the process of fertilization. Now new individuals can also be produced by asexual reproduction. But if the reproduction involves the process of fertilization, then it is sexual reproduction and now the sexual reproduction has why we are saying it is sexual because it involves two sexes male and female and the male and female sex will produce male and female gamete and these gametes when fused by the process of fertilization to produce a new individual then the process is called sexual reproduction that is involvement of two sexes is essential for sexual reproduction otherwise it will become asexual reproduction now in case of humans the fertilization is fusion of sperm nucleus that is male gamete with the ovum nucleus that is female gamete so in case of humans the male gamete is sperm and female gamete is ovum when the male gamete sperm and female gamete ovum meet that is fuse they form a zygote and this zygote divides many times to form an embryo and this embryo will further develop into a new individual so this is a gist of the process of reproduction and fertilization in case of humans we will discuss later it in more detail for now you have to understand that male gamete is a sperm and female gamete is ovum now let's start male reproductive system so this is the diagram of the male reproductive system and male reproductive system consists of one pair of testes testes we called it in singular form and it is the main male reproductive organ in which sperms are produced okay you can see in this diagram that these oval structures are testes testes second is scrotum what is a scrotum a scrotum is a sac or bag of skin in which testes are present you can understand scrotum in a way that it is a loose folding of skin and testes are hanged in this skin foldings or bag so why they are present outside the body the scrotum and the testes they are present outside the body to maintain their temperature to maintain the temperature because sperm production needs less body less temperature than the normal body temperature testes need testes or sperm production need less temperature than the usual body temperature otherwise the sperm production will get affected so they are present outside the body next is epididymis what is epididymis it is a coiled tube like a structure that is present outside of testes in this diagram you can see that this structure above the testes is epididymis epi didymus this one now this is a coiled structure and what is its function it stores sperms that are produced in the testes fourth is sperm duct it is a tube this one is a sperm duct it is a tube that travels all the way from the epididymis to the urethra till here 
it joins urethra just below the urinary bladder this tube it is also coil tubule this entire tubule is sperm duct from epididymis to the point it joins the urethra this is urinary bladder from urinary bladder urethra will start and the sperm duct this one will join urethra just below the urinary bladder this is urinary bladder urinary bladder is not a part of male reproductive system it is just shown here for the sake of convenience so these are the four structure testes scrotum bag like structure epididymis and sperm duct next is urethra it runs down the urinary bladder as we just discussed it starts from the urinary bladder from this point and travels all the way to the entire length of the penis this one is urethra it travels all the way through the penis and ends at the tip of the penis this is urethra next is penis this is penis this is the external genitalia for copulation this is penis it is essential for copulation and it consists erectile tissues and blood vessels as well that makes us form during the time of intercourse next is prostate gland prostate gland is present at the junction of sperm duct to urethra and it surrounds the urethra so this structure is prostate gland we just discussed that sperm duct joins urethra below the urinary bladder and where the sperm duct joins urethra the prostate gland is present also the prostate gland surrounds the urethra let's take this is your urethral bladder and this is urethra so prostate gland is present here like this it will surround the urethra and the sperm duct will open somewhere here in the urine urethra just below the urinary bladder so they are all present at a one point or a junction now next is seminal vesicle where it is present it is also present where the sperm duct joins the prostate gland these are seminal vesicles these tubules or coiled structures now it is the point where the sperm duct is joining the urethra and seminal vesicle and the prostate gland both are present at this junction so it's a bit complicated but if you study it again and again you will get the clear picture of the male reproductive system so these are the eight important parts of the male reproductive system now let's understand what are the functions of these different parts first is testes it is the main reproductive organ or the male gonad gonad is used for the organ that produces gametes and what are the male gametes sperms sperms are also called spermatozoa second is scrotum we just discuss it is important to regulate the temperature to keep the testes cooler or lower temperature than the body scrotum is essential for this feature next is epididymis epididymis stores sperms sperms are produced in testes and get stored in epididymis then what happens sperm duct the sperms which are produced here in testes get stored in epididymis and then they will travel all the way through the sperm duct to the urethra so what is the feature of sperm duct it allows passage of sperm carries sperm from 
testes next is urethra it's a common passage for urine and the semen and opens at the mouth of the penis this is penis and this is the opening of the urethra urethra at one time is a part of excretory system and uh, passes out urine and at other times it acts as a part of the male reproductive system to transfer the sperm or the semen next is penis what is the feature of penis penis is used to transfer sperms into female vagina during the sexual intercourse penis this is penis and it acts as a male external genitalia for copulation it is essential to transfer the sperms next is prostate gland and seminal vesicle these both are glands and they provides fluid provides fluid and nutrients they provide fluid and nutrients to the sperms for their development and the fluid plus sperm will form semen so semen contains the sperm sperm and semen are two different terms sperm are the male gametes and when the sperm gets combined with the fluid which is secreted by the prostate gland and the seminal vesicle then it becomes the semen so these are the functions of different parts of the male reproductive system let's take a side view this is the side view of the male reproductive system this is the testes outside the testes it is epididymis epididymis from epididymis what arrives from epididymis a tube like structure arrives which is called sperm duct it travels all the way to the urethra this is urethra and joins urethra just below the urinary bladder and at the junction of sperm duct and urethra what is present it is prostate gland and where the sperm duct joins the urethra which gland is present seminal vesicle and this is urethra it is travel it travels all the way to the penis this is penis and it it opens at the tip of the penis so this is the side view of the male reproductive system okay so these are the eight parts 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 23 24 25 26 27 28 29 30 31 32 33 34 35 36 37 38 39 40 41 42 43 44 45 46 47 48 49 50 51 52 53 54 55 56 57 58 59 60 scrotum is left this is a scrotum this can folding or bag in which testes is present this is scrotum so these are the eight important parts of the male reproductive system now let's see how the sperms are produced in the testes testes have thousands of tubules in it sperms develop in the linings and walls of these tubules because these tubules have rapidly dividing cells let's take a quick view here it's a testes it's the internal structure of the testes testes have tubules in it thousand number of tubules these all the red structures are tubules now this is the internal structure of tubule and tubule lining has tubule lining or the wall of the tubule has cells various number of cells these are all purple colored cells these cells are responsible for the production of sperms and how this production occurs let's suppose this is the cell this cell divides by meiosis meiosis is a type of cell division this cell divides by meiosis to produce the sperm why meiosis is important because this cell has to produce a gamete and gamete has less number of 
chromosomes than the normal body cell if the normal human body cell has 46 chromosomes normal body cell of the human has 46 chromosomes and the gamete has 23 that is half of the 46 and this half number occurs because of the process of meiosis so meiosis is important for the production of gamete so in these cells meiosis will occur and another cell will be produced that is sperm during the development this sperm will produce long tail or flagellum in it this one during the development the cell will develop a tail like structure or flagellum it is important for the motility of the sperm so this is how the sperms are produced in the testes next is what is ejaculation ejaculation is forced force ejection of sperm to the penis during the time during the time of intercourse so ejaculation uh, as we just discussed in the last slide the sperms are made here they get stored in epididymis and at the time of ejaculation they get forced ejected from this point from the epididymis because it is the storage area of sperms so they get ejected from epididymis to the penis for the process of fertilization to complete next is sperm production starts at puberty in males the process of sperm production is started at the age of puberty that is around 14 years of age next male produces millions of sperms during the lifetime when the uh, sperm production starts at puberty it continues all the lifespan of the male next is sperm production is sensitive to heat we just discussed uh, in the in a starting of the lecture that the sperm production is sensitive to heat so the testes are present outside the body in the scrotum so that their temperature will be maintained lower than the usual body temperature so these are all the features related to production of sperms in the testes now let's take a look of the male gamete that is sperm or spermatozoa sperm is also called spermatozoa so uh, sperm has three basic parts first is head middle piece and tail this portion is head this conical one this is head head has nucleus this center one is nucleus it contains the chromosomes that is 23 in number and this initial area it's like this suppose this is a head of the sperm in center it has nucleus and just below the conical portion of the head it has another area called acrosome acrosome is very important for the sperm because it has enzymes in it that dissolves the coating around the egg dissolves egg coating or coating around the ovum so that the sperm can enter the egg and process of fertilization will occur so acrosomal enzymes are important to make the path for the sperm entry in the ovum next is middle piece middle piece has mitochondria in it these are mitochondria mitochondria provides energy for the motility of the sperm so it is important for energy third is tail or flagellum this is tail tail is essential for swimming in the semen and for traveling 
or for mobility we can say mobility in the body so these are the important features of the sperm first part is head middle piece tail head has acrosome acrosome has enzymes and these enzymes dissolve the layer around the egg or ovum so that the sperm can enter the egg and uh, process of fertilization will occur mitochondria is present in the middle piece to provide energy for the motility and motility is provided by the tail so this is the entire structure of male gamete and that's all for today in the next lecture we will discuss female reproductive system keep learning keep practicing thank you